Howdy, howdy. Welcome to Fish is Good. And today's episode of Fish is Good Cooking. Ah, rat. Right. Alright, Gary Palmer here. And I got Sprocket. Hey, Sprocket, come here. Sprocket down by my side. Come here, get up here. Say hi. Hey, hey what, what's cooking, Sprocket? What's cooking? Alright. Let's go. Well, today we're gonna pan fry some fish, uh, some ling cod that we caught last fall. This method that we're gonna do today is my favorite way to cook fish, at least the last couple years it is. It's kind of developed a little bit. It started out with just a one coating process and now it's a two coating process. Hope you like this way of cooking fish, try it, and um, give me some comments below. All right. Okie dokie, let's get going. Right. Well, today we're going to cook some ling cod that we caught uh, on the Oregon coast. In fact, we caught it down between uh, Charleston and Bandon. And uh, it's soaking, it's been soaking in buttermilk for a couple hours. And I'm going to take it out of the buttermilk and then uh, put it into our favorite batter, Pride of the West. So the easiest way for um, coating it that, that uh, I like is to put the batter into a gallon bag. You can also use a, a paper bag if you like. So I just put enough to coat the fish that I have soaking. This is in the Pride of the West. And then take the fish and I let it drip, let the buttermilk drip off of it and just put it into the dry fish batter. So this is basically just seasoned flour. Now this method uh, has evolved over a couple years. Initially, we were just doing, uh, we are putting it into some uh, egg whites like this, and then in flour or in Pride of the West or some other fish batter. But we started using the buttermilk and we really like it for soaking the fish. It makes it very mild and it, uh, helps the batter to, uh, to uh, adhere to it. So we don't mix up the batter, we just put it in dry and then shake it on like this. So it's just lightly coating these fish pieces. Ling cod is a really mild fish that we love to eat. In fact, most people love ling cod. It's probably one of our favorite fish. Okay, so I'm just lightly coating it. Now, this used to be the process that we do. Then, we would take it and I just put it out like this and then I would fry it in some, uh, in a skillet that had some olive oil on the bottom. And it was really good that way. But, I decided I wanted to get some panko on it because of the, um, there's some panko right here. Panko is uh, crunchy breadcrumbs, very light, and gives it that crunchy um, texture. Well, I would try to mix some of the panko with this part of the West. It just didn't stick very well. And then I'd try to uh, push it on, put it on a plate, and just push it on after I had this on. And anyway, it just didn't stick. So I started thinking, okay, what can I do here? And then, I thought, well, it's gotta be a way to get it to, to, to stick. And I thought, okay, I need to get it moist again. But I didn't want to stick it back into the, uh, in, into the buttermilk. So I said, well, we'll just put it in some beer and then, then I'll dip the dip it in the panko. So 
just take some beer in a bowl. You could also use uh, Sprite or some soda, something also. And then take the panko and I just put it onto a plate like this. Whoa, it's windy here. This stuff is very light. Wait, I see it <laughs> blowing off my plate. Okay. Here. Okay, then what I do I would just dip this into the beer quickly and then into the panko. You can see it just lightly coats it. Then it's ready for frying. I'll do the rest of them here. So I'll just into the panko. Like that. See how nice that looks. Very lightly battered with the Pride of the West. And then a light coating of the panko. This is so delicious. Julie and I made this for some of our granddaughters at our camp in Oregon. And the uh, they did not like fish. They were determined not to eat fish. And we said, well, just try it. Come on, just try it. And we had taken them out fishing and I said, you, if you're catching fish, you got to eat fish. And so they agreed they'd try it. And we were using salmon pieces that time. And they loved it this way. In fact, they loved it so much that the next day they said, hey, can you make that fish again for us? We go fishing and catch fish and make it the same way? So we did. And everyone that's tried this, at least we think people have been honest about it, they um, say this is one of their favorite ways of cooking fish. So you can, we've, we've uh, made it this way with uh, salmon, with black sea bass, with um, uh, halibut that we've caught, and it all turns out uh, really good because you have this light coating of the Pride of the West fish batter, and then uh, that locks in the moisture. Then you have the light coating of this panko, which gives it gives it this crunchiness. Well, there we go. So now we have our fish ready for cooking. So now let's get the grill ready. Now we have the fish that we have battered with the pride of the first soaked in buttermilk, then the pride of the west, and then beer, and then panko. So now we're just gonna fry it in this olive oil and put it in there. Lucky here, I can get it all in one time. Now we'll cook this for three or four minutes on each side until it's golden brown. This is so yummy. Okay, so it's been brown that side, so I'm gonna start taking some of these pieces out. Everyone that has it this way loves it. Well, at least they tell me they do. All right. Well, this is the cooking show from fishisgood.tv, and we'll see you next time. Over and out.